and welcome to the second tier. And we have some breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Marcus Shop has been sacked as Barnsley head coach. Seven straight losses, one win all season. Justin Peach, it's got to be said, it's not too surprising, is it? It's been inevitable for quite some time, hasn't it? Even before this long run of games uh, without a win, they didn't look like they had a, a clear identity. And it's you go from uh, Ishmael last season where you knew exactly what you were going to get. Um, it was very, very easy to, to predict um, the lineup, the strategy um, and the style of play under shop. Just just absolutely no clue whatsoever. And as you say, it's it's no surprise that he's been sacked. Barnsley need to make a move now. They have done um, in a bid to save their season because they are looking really, really poor and they're looking like they could be, yeah, uh, a fast track to, on a fast track to League One. Yeah, they have been, for me, the worst team in the division this season, which is saying mm -hmm. something because there have been some poor teams in the division. And it's even more impressive considering this team, as we all know, got to the playoffs last season. So managing to take a playoff team and making them the worst team in the division is quite impressive from Marcus Schott's <laughs> perspective. But it had to happen, didn't it? Throughout the whole season, they've had no clear identity. Um, players who were great last season were underperforming. They've only lost two players admittedly two key players um, from that playoff team but the players that they've got now just don't look like the players that we saw from last season they've got no ideas um, and they had to make a change um, it was a case of back him or sack him and I'm glad they've gone with sack him because now they've got enough time to turn around the season it's weird because Barnsley for the past few seasons have had quite a good record of appointed managers all of them have been successful in one way or another mm. um, but this is one that they got wrong why they got it wrong no idea but um, it'll be interesting to see whether they go down the route again of looking to uh, Central Europe for their next manager we'll get onto that in a sec Justin um, but it's going to be interesting to see now isn't it because they've still got time to save the season haven't they they could very easily with the players they've got get back into mid-table completely eradicate any fears of going down this season it all just depends on the right appointment doesn't it yeah there's 31 games left um the issue with barnsley now is is finding a formula that that works for them because they they can't i don't think they can get away with playing that direct style of football that they played under ishmael because i don't think they've got the personnel to do it you don't have that um, that dictator in the middle of, of an Alex Mowat, um, and you don't have that physical presence up front of a, of a Daryl DK. So it's a case of where do you go? I think that I think they've got the players to play a good counter-attacking um, style of play, and they've clearly got the the, the blueprint to play uh, a pressing style of play. It's just how they how they mix all that together and who they bring in to, to do it. But there's still games to go. There's still plenty of games to go. There are there are teams in a worse position than them squad wise um it's just unlocking that talent that they've got i think it was the qpr away game where they went two nil up in the first half and i thought barnsley were absolutely fantastic um they were knocking the ball around in, a, in and around the 18 yard box qpr and they looked a threat every time they got the ball um near, near the near the qpr's goal and it's just a case of unlock because it's clearly talent it's just unlocking it and um There'll be, there'll be a manager out there somewhere that, that can do it. It's just a case of who. Yeah, well, we saw last season that they've got the talent there. It just goes without saying, because they were absolutely brilliant last season, weren't they? It was just they had a very good tactician in charge at the same time. And that brings me on to the next question. Who do they go to next? Do they go to Central Europe or do they get a manager who's more familiar to the Championship? I'm thinking a certain Yorkshireman who's just recently lost his job in Wales. Yeah, um... Perhaps I'd steer away from the particular Yorkshireman. It's very difficult, isn't it, with Barnsley? Because they're, they're probably the only club in the league where you just couldn't... It's not an easy prediction for the next manager. Like with, with Cardiff, for example, there's 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 a group of five or six managers or, or, or coaches or what have you who you think, yeah, they, 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 they'd fit that more. But because of Barnsley's past um, endeavours into, into Central Europe, um, it's very hard to predict whether they go that way or not is, is another question. But for me, I think in the position they're in now, they do need to bring someone in who's familiar with the Championship at the very least because perhaps his shop uh, experience has, has scarred them a little bit. I think um, 
uh, was it Dane? Is it Dane? Oh, what's his um, Dane Murphy? That's the one. And they Dane said Dane Cook, but he's a US comedian. Um, <laughs> yeah, Dane Murphy. Um, obviously, him leaving in the summer had a big effect on, on what goes on behind the scenes because he's got a lot of contacts throughout Europe and, and, and the US as well. So whether or not he was pivotal to picking the right man in the likes of Struber and, and, and Ishmael um, is, is another question. But I think bringing in someone who's familiar with the championship in their current plight would be the direction I would go in. Well, that brings me on to Mick McCarthy. He is someone who's familiar with the championship. He's a Barnsley fan as well, which is, I think, the main reason why a lot of people are going to be linking him with the job. I'm going to guess, I haven't looked at the betting yet, I'm going to guess he's the favourite for the job. Um, I, I think it's interesting. I think if they appointed Mick McCarthy, they'd stay up 100% because he's a manager who knows the league and will, will be able to make them tough to beat. Um, if they go to Central Europe again, then they could potentially carry on the projects that they're building and get maybe into mid-table and then it'll be a long-term thing whereas I think Mick McCarthy is just someone they'd have for this season yeah. and just ride it out just get them guide them to safety but if they do go Central Europe then I think you also have the risk of having a manager who doesn't know the league as well and you could have another Marcus shop on your hands and mm. they just continue to be appalling um, so it's a bit of a gamble really do you go for the safe option in Mick McCarthy who as I say I think would keep them up or do you twist and go for you know another central european manager who could continue the project but at the same time it could go completely wrong what do you think yeah well they, they've had three that have worked in stendhal um struber and ishmael and they've had two that haven't worked in um gomez and shop so there, there's they're, they're winning in that sense but i just think the situation right now they need a they need a man manager, for example, to come in and and tell these players that they are talented enough. They are there good. We enough. go. Just, just impeach once Mick McCarthy. You've heard it here first, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It, it is it is a weird subconscious, isn't it? That I'm just sort of leaning towards Mick McCarthy. I just don't think, especially after that Cardiff run, um, I don't think it's the right time. I think it's too soon. What you're basically you're last week? You want you want an experienced head who knows the championship. But you don't want Mick McCarthy. <laughs> ticking boxes, isn't it? He's ticking boxes. I think, I mean, even, yeah, I'm going to say even someone in the Neil Warnock mold, but that's basically Mick McCarthy as well. Um, whatever they do, I think it is a gamble because they're in a they're in a strange position, Barnsley, where they could carry on the project, as you say, or they bring someone in to fight a fire till the end of the season. Um, it's so difficult to 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 put your finger on it. I think there are good managers out there. I've mentioned Michael Flynn for. For Cardiff, I think he'd fit the Barnsley mould quite nicely. I think they're in a better position on the pitch in terms of players um, that that would fit his style of play. Um, then you've got the likes of Ryan Lowe at Plymouth, Plymouth for top of the league. Again, there's a good mix of possession and, and um, pressing style you football three at the back as well. To go though, a team top of the league one, so a team that's you know second from bottom in the championship. It's, it's a question mark, but I'm just you know I'm just trying to throw names in there because. I'm not going to pick anyone out from Central Europe because I do not have the uh, the knowledge. <laughs> I, I think my instinct is they'll probably go for Central Europe again. Um, but whether that's the best move or not, I'm not too sure. Uh, any other points you want to make, Justin, before we wrap it up here? I think, I think going back to something in between Struber and Ishmael, Will get the best out of this this Barzi side, where it's not too direct, but it's it's still pressing. Um, it's Barzi are a good side, very good side. Mad Anderson's just come back from injury as well. There's talent there. I don't think they'll go down if they pick the right man. It's just depending on this next appointment, <laughs> the biggest appointment in a couple of years, I think, for Barzi. Well, it, it's, if it's a wrong appointment, they'll go down, won't they? Simple yeah. as that. But they're good enough to stay up. Definitely good enough. They're good enough to finish at least mid-table, aren't they, really? Anyway, we'll, let it, we'll end it there, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching uh, this quick breaking news video from the second tier. As always, if you could like, give us your comments below on who you think should be the next Barnsley manager. We're always very interested to hear what you guys think. Subscribe for more videos reacting to breaking news, podcasts, and uh, other bits and pieces that are going to be coming up in the next few weeks or so. And we'll see you again very soon.